Fly Natural here and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are new and not yet subscribed, make sure you join the family. Hit that subscribe button because I guarantee you're going to like it here, okay? Unless you got questionable taste, then I can't help you with that. <laughs> so guys, today's video, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of having shoulder length locks. Now, I say shoulder length, but I think I'm at collarbone length because like here's my collarbone. And, but whatever, we're going to say shoulder length locks. So let's get into the video. All right, so for reference, I have been locked for almost four years. It will be four years, April 22nd of this year. So we are about like three months shy of that. And this is the length of my locks so far. And then since my hair is like halfway up, I'll actually insert a picture here. Um, I will say that I love the length of my locks, I will say that, but it's definitely some good and bad things that comes along with having longer locks. So let's get straight to the bad stuff first. Let's just go on and knock that out the way. The first con, these things are hot. Y'all, these things are hot. They're hot, they're hot. In the summertime, I gotta pull it up. Even right now with this hoodie on, I feel like I need to pull it up. But baby, these things are hot. You imagine having your hair down and then you just have like a roll of sweat all around your forehead from where your hair is touching you. It's hot. It's like a blanket sometimes, how warm it gets. So yeah. Whew. So it's like the longer they get, the hotter they get. So two, they're always in my face. Like, Honestly, I do like to leave a little bit hair down in the front because I got a five head situation and I always don't want to put that on display. But when my hair is down or even when it is like, or even like it is now, it's definitely a lot of this going on because it's always in my face. Every time I move, my hair moves with me. It's in my face like 24 seven. So I'm constantly doing like this or moving it out of the way. Three, I see smack the hell out of everybody and myself with my locks these <laughs> and this is no joke especially if i have on my lock beads that i use to wear let me turn my head real fast like like one time i was in the kitchen minding my own business i heard a loud bang i turned around one of my freaking beads came and whipped me and smacked me in my eyeball when i tell you i was blind for like 10 minutes it was a wrap. And when I, <laughs> so the longer your hair gets, you gotta understand, it's dangerous. It gets really dangerous. If I move my hair too much, I'm gonna slap myself, I'm gonna slap somebody around me. Don't let me do it one of these, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm liable to, to put an eye out. So just know that the longer they get, baby, these things get a little dangerous. The next thing is that they get caught in everything everything they get caught in everything like i have piercings so it gets caught in my nose ring it gets caught in my regular earrings it gets caught in my tragus piercing it gets caught in my bra it gets caught on my necklace it gets caught on everything it's like to the point where i'm not even joking i put a shirt on i gotta hit with one of these you know what i'm saying but flip it on out <laughs> because i'm at that stage of my life journey because this it gets it just gets caught in everything and it's just like, it's so crazy because it's like half the time I'll be wondering why I'm just like this, like, what's going on with my neck? And it's just my hair caught in my bra strap, like, it's weird. And going into them getting caught on everything, the next kind is they get into everything. I cannot tell you how many times I've been trying to take a bite of food and I had a lock in it. I am gonna try to eat. I have a lock in a piece of my food. I, I got some water from a water fountain. I had to pull my hair to the side and still ended up getting in a water fountain, which I didn't understand. And now me, I feel like my hair isn't at that length to where it should be doing all of this. But no, my hair is a rebellious teenager because it's getting into every goddamn thing. Like, sit, come on now. But my hair is literally in everything. So we got to make sure I'm, I'm just being extra careful. The next thing is lint. Now me, I have some lint in my hair, not a lot, 
So the older your locks get, the more lint actually gets accumulated in your locks. And so in certain places on my locks, I have lint showing and I don't like that. And it's like the longer your locks get, the more liable they are to get more lint in them because they're constantly rubbing up on like sweaters and scarves and things like that, especially in winter and fall season. So yeah, lint is definitely not become a major issue, but it's a con because I'm getting more of it. So I have to take more measures to make sure I don't have a buildup problem. So yeah. So those are my cons. So let's get to good. Let's get to the reason why you want your locks to get long. One, ponytails and buns. Baby, when I tell you I love doing ponytails and buns, like they look amazing. I did bow buns in my hair. I did messy buns. I did donut buns. Like I can actually do buns in my hair. And it's fun seeing how many buns and creative cute little updo ponytails and buns that I can do. And then I love giving me a ponytail, a top ponytail where I look like a, pon a pineapple, a back ponytail, you know, I love it. Let the hang time, hang time, baby. I'm loving the ponytails and buns because at this stage, it's so much fun. It's really fun. Well, going along with um, my love for the ponytails and buns, my next pro is how easy it is for me to just throw it up. So if I get too hot or if, like I said, they get in my face, if I'm tired, I'm getting in my face, I can easily whoop them, throw it in a quick little ponytail, throw it in a quick little messy bun, just throw it up. No problem, it's easy. All I have to do is really just throw my head upside down, whoop, whoop, there we go. I don't have to do all the bobby pins anymore and I don't have to do the extra twist and whatever to incorporate the small ones that I had before. I can just throw it up. Now, I do have like maybe two or three in the back that they be acting like they don't want to go on ponytail sometimes. But other than that, I could just easily throw it up, no problem. And I like that. The next pro, and this is a big one for me because if y'all have been following my journey and if you're following me over on TikTok, which you should be because if you're not, what you're doing. But over on TikTok, like, I post a lot of videos of me just shaking my locks. So at this length, the hair flips that I'm able to do, the hair shakes that I'm able to do is ridiculous. I love it. Like, you cannot tell me nothing. Because if you think you're about to tell me something, bitch, think again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. The next pro, and this is a big pro for me, is I love to see the progression and growth of my locks thus far. The fact that my hair is actually this length after almost four years is crazy to me. And it's crazy because one, my hair was like this length, if not a tad bit longer when I originally locked it. And when I first put in my twists, my locks were like here and then the next day they were above my ear so see the fact that they are this long without them being stretched to see the fact that they're this length on their own is crazy to me and i, I i'm actually in love with that to look back at my journey to see where i started and to see where I'm, i am now is great this whole process and this journey of me locking my hair has taught me so much about myself and actually it's the one thing in my life that i feel like it's giving me a lot of inspiration because i am starting a whole bunch of new journeys in my life right now and it's hard so seeing the progression with my locks is really giving me a lot of motivation for everything else that i'm journaling i mean that i'm taking a journey through in my life right now. the last and final, and probably to me, most important pro, if I'm feeling myself, okay? I love, 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 love the confidence boost that I have with my locks, especially the fact now that um, my hair is actually catching a lot of attention. People see me and literally stop and, and stare at my hair. At first, and at first, I thought it was like a negative thing. I'm like, what you looking at? Like, ugh, like, what you doing? But people would literally stop me and just, just are in awe of my locks. They just be geeking my head up. And when I tell you ain't no compliment like a black woman compliment, baby, baby. And don't let it be an auntie type figure black woman that gives me a compliment. Oh, baby, I'm living. So the fact that like I'm having other women, other black women, even men 
come up to me on a regular basis complimenting me on my hair and you know how it looks and everything knowing that i did this myself i take full credit i ain't have a lot to shampoo all i had was me you feel me that that just, just got me feeling myself for real so at this point i feel like my daughters are not playing anymore it's starting to sound like it's getting a little violent so i'm gonna go ahead and head out thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts on your pros and cons down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and give this video a like on the way out and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace